In this video tutorial, we will explain how to set up bulk edit products, prices, and attributes for WooCommerce plugin, step by step. You will also see a demonstration of how this plugin works. Once you have installed and activated our bulk edit products, prices and attributes for WooCommerce plugin, you can see the plugin in the activated plugins list. Click on bulk edit products setting to get started. The very first step is to filter the desired products that need editing in bulk. The plugin offers few filters that you can make use of. You can filter products using product title, that starts with a specific text, ends with specific text, or contains a certain part of the text in the title. You can also make use of regular expression pattern matching option. For this option, you need to follow a syntax for entering the pattern. For example, if you need to search for all products that have numbers in their product title, enter the number pattern in the form of 0 to 9 inside square brackets. You also have the option to use flags for deeper processing of regular expressions. Read our article for regular expression patterns. The link for the article is given in the video description. You can also use product types to filter only simple products, parent variable products, or variations of the variable products. Also, you can select one of more product categories from your WooCommerce store for filtering. If you have a long list of subcategories, you can select the parent category, and simply tick the include subcategories checkbox. In addition to this, use combination of your custom global product attributes created in your WooCommerce settings. You can make use of or operation or an operation on attributes. Once you select an attribute, the plugin provides deeper filtering in the form of attribute values. You can filter products using these combinations. For example, in the or operation filter, if I select color as black and size as large, the plugin will filter all the products having attributes that are either black or large in size. In the same way, the an operation filter will filter all the products that have both color attribute as black and of large size. And lastly, you can use the regular prices of the products, select the required condition for the same. For demonstration purpose, let us filter all the t-shirt products. Once you have set up your filter settings, click preview filtered settings to proceed further. The next screen previews all the filtered products to you. If you are not happy with the filtered products, click back to go back and configure the filters again. Else, click continue, and proceed to the next step. Next, you are presented with a list of product properties that you can use to bulk edit or update the filtered products. The first option is to update the product title. You can choose to set a new product title for all the filtered products, append or prepend some text to the existing product title, replace a part of the text with the custom text, or use regular expressions for filtering. You can enter the desired pattern inside square brackets and enter the replacement value in text format. In the same way, you can configure product SKU for the filtered products. The product visibility settings allow you to show the products on both the shop page and search results, only in shop page, only in search results or to hide the products from the store completely. You can also choose to remove shipping classes, or apply predefined shipping class to all your filtered products. The next set of settings is related to product prices. You can customize the sale price of the filtered products by increasing the sale price in percentage or decreasing the same in percentage value. You can also increase or decrease the sale price in amount value. The plugin also allows you to choose the desired rounding method for decimal calculations. You could also set a flat sale price straight away for all the filtered products. In a similar fashion, you can configure regular prices as well. 
An important point to remember here is that the sale price and regular price settings will not be applied to parent variation product. They are only applied to variations of the variable products and other types of products. Next up, is the stock properties of the products. If you have not enabled stock management for your filtered products, you can enable it very easily in this way. The plugin lets you update the stocks of your filtered products in simple steps. To increase the stock, just select the increase option and enter the desired stock value. In the same way, you can decrease or replace the stock value as well. The next setting is to configure back orders of your filtered products. You can choose to not allow back orders, allow and notify the customer, or allow back orders. The stock status setting allows you to show your filtered products in stock or show them as out of stock products. In the next section, you can bulk update product length, width, height, and weight of the filtered products. You can increase the value of the product length, decrease value from it, or replace the value entirely. A brand new feature has been added to the plugin for bulk updating custom product attributes to the desired products. With this feature, you can add, remove, or overwrite existing global attributes of your filtered products. But remember, you need to first add one or more global attributes in your WooCommerce attribute settings. Only then will you be able to add the same attributes to all the products in bulk. For example, if you want to add the size attribute to your filtered products, you can tick the size attribute checkbox, and select existing attribute values from the dropdown. You can also add new attribute values, each in a new line. In addition to this, you can use these attributes for variations purpose. Which means, the attribute values will not create variations on their own, rather they will be made available for creating variations. This setting is similar to the used for variation checkbox in WooCommerce product attribute settings. You would need to create desired variations for each product in their respective WooCommerce product variation setting. Once all settings are configured, click on Update Products button. Here's how the filtered products are updated with new attribute values. The simple product will show the configured attributes in the product information section. And for variable products, the attributes will be shown in a drop-down list in this way. That's not it. If you are not happy with the update, you can revert back the last update. To do this, go to the filter settings and click on undo last update button located on the top right corner of the screen. Next, you'll be shown the last updated settings. If you have updated more than one product settings, tick the desired checkbox and click continue to proceed further. The last update will be reverted back to its initial state. In this way, you can bulk edit products, prices, and attributes in your WooCommerce store. There are a lot of things you can do with this plugin by customizing to your own needs. If you don't have our bulk edit products, prices, and attributes plugin for WooCommerce, get it today at lextensions.com. If you are already one of our 40,000 plus customers, get the updated version as a part of your subscription, and start bulk editing products and its various properties. For any further queries, contact us at our online support today. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel, for more informative videos related to WordPress and WooCommerce plugins.